Hello everybody, it's Joel and Tim from Silver Arrow Cars and we are here with our 2006 Aegean Blue Mercedes-Benz SL500. This is a US car, we are selling it out of the US, out of Blaine, Washington on an Ohio State title. Um, so please bid accordingly. This video is going to help you uh, supplement the photos that we've supplied for the auction. And uh, I'm just going to walk you around and show you the condition of the car. I've got the hood slightly popped at the at the moment, uh, so I'll just show you below there right now. If you're watching this video to get a better idea of the car, uh, please note that if you watch the driving video, right at the end of the driving video, we do show the functioning of the panoramic hardtop being uh, retracted and deployed, uh, also the uh, suspension lowering and raising. So I'm just going to go underneath the hood right now. So you can see everything under the hood is impeccable, I would say. We sent the car to Mercedes, had them do a full inspection on the car. Uh, all we ended up doing was a service. We'll do anything that they recommend and in this case it was nothing just needed its due service and that was it so Everything is spick and span. You don't see any weird corrosion on any of the aluminum or any of the steel any of the fittings Everything is extremely clean underneath the hood As is the rest of the vehicle uh, very impressive actually for the age of the car it does have quite low mileage at 40,000 miles um, but the paint both on the front and down the sides there's very 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 limited chipping on the car there's a little one two three to note on the nose here but if you look across the front bumper small mark here that is just in the 3M film so there's 3M film just on this piece here. So maybe earlier in its life, uh, there was 3M on this front bumper. Uh, the headlight lenses, nice and clear. Not much hazing going on at all. A little bit in front of the projector, but very limited. That's just a little bit of grime there. Very clean. Let's go around to the sunny side. All the wheels are impeccable, in very good condition. Looking down the side of the car, the rockers really, really tidy. I don't really see any blemishes to point out. And again, if you're looking down the side of the car, I've got nothing to point out. The mirror caps look really great. The lenses for the indicator is good. The windshield, a couple little pits, but really not noticeable. Leading edge of the roof, no chips I need to point out. Of course, this is the panoramic roof. And then even around the wheel well in the back, I'm not seeing really any chipping. Paint is extremely, extremely nice. It does have 3M guard around the trailing edge of the door where normally you'll see nicks or sometimes the seat belts will get caught. Rear wheel, super tidy. Does have a soft close function on the trunk. That is not power deploying. So I'll retract that carpet and the whole trunk liner all is very clean I did lift this up did not see a jack the inflators there little tool rolls there and the space saver is there uh, but I believe that should be the jack there not present so very very tidy in the back Same with the bottom of the boot lid and you'll notice if you give the trunk 
There's the soft close feature. Rear bumper, same thing. I've got nothing to point out. That is just fluff. Extremely, extremely clean. Very tidy. And really, it's just going to be the same story. I believe when we sold this car to a local client a couple years ago, we replaced the tires. Yes, there's the date code, 2019. So we did all the tires when we sold it to that client. Again, wheels, super tidy. A little bit of oxidization on the center caps. But I got nothing to point out as far as rock chips. I might be missing something very tiny, but extremely clean. We've been, as this car has been preparing for sale, very impressed with the condition and the state in which the last owner kept it. Very high gloss and good silver shine to the, all the wheels. Wood trim looks great everywhere. Tim did point out a small crack there in the center console. There's a little bit of wear on the steering wheel here. Little mark. Carpets are very clean. Door sill is not beat up. Those are really tidy. No real big scuffs on the aluminum from the middle there. Door jams, same story. Seat belt has a little bit of wear to it, but it's a seat belt. The seats themselves, very tidy. Here's your gauge cluster. And then all the panels in the rear here, all very quite tidy. You can see the carpet in behind the seat. Looks great. And we'll just go and look at the other side. This car has been sitting in our showroom as we were getting ready for some good weather to do these videos. And this Aegean Blue really, really grows on you. And the condition of this car, everybody remarks on it. Same thing on this side, you guys. Door sills, nice and tidy. All the panels, very tidy. Center console is not broken. In behind the seats, the, all the seat functions are working. All those panels look great. The sunscreen on top of the, or sorry, the sunscreen in the panoramic roof is not broken. It functions the way it should and has no tears in the screen itself. It does have all the books in the glove box and two keys. Right here, a little tight. And that is it. Hopefully that helps, as I think it should. Car's pretty exquisite. Really hard to find any deficiencies on it anywhere. Everything works, nothing's broken. Windscreen is missing, books are there, two keys. Car's being sold out of Blaine, Washington on a US title. This is a US car originally. If you have any questions please use the contact seller button this is being sold no reserve top bid buys it if we can help please reach out either on the web or the contact seller button thank you